Hey guys, this is Joe, and joining me today is uh, Chad Callahan, our brand manager. Uh, we have been kind of tinkering around the office today and noticed a interesting panel happening at TwitchCon uh, called the Gayest Panel at TwitchCon. <laughs> yes. And I mean, we felt like as the LGBTQ members of the cast, it was kind of on us to talk about that. And that just got us to thinking, well, maybe we should just talk about some other LGBTQ uh, issues that are going on. So Chad, do you want to, you want to start us off? Yeah, I think, um, well, one of the things that we, we I, like that drew me to this is that the fact that like Twitch is pretty much like very LGBT friendly from what I see. I mean, I'm, I don't know any horror stories. I can't think of any um, where like anyone's, saying bad things as far as the LGBT community comes into. Well, that's not the the prevailing thought, at least. Like, Because, right. I mean, of course, there are horror stories. I've, I've seen my share of uh, slurs and whatnot but while doing not, streams, but that's not but the not standard. But that's not because of Twitch. That's right. The, just, that's just the typical community. You, you'd find that anywhere. Right, you know? exactly. It's nothing you're not used to seeing on the internet. Uh, right. Twitch overall is pretty... Yeah, as a company. Seems like It seems like it anyway. Yeah. There might be some examples we don't know about, but... Yeah, uh, so at TwitchCon, they're doing uh, the gayest panel at TwitchCon, and the uh, description of the panel is, every year, the best and boldest of the LGBTQ plus community on Twitch get together and discuss the queer experience in live broadcasting, get tips for new and growing LGBTQ plus streamers, advice on how to be a better chat ally, and learn tools for networking and success as a queer person on Twitch. What are your thoughts? I, I, I'm impressed. Like, I mean, the fact that they're, they're like, teaching people how to network right. within their like what they know mm -hmm. and like and obviously if you're lgbtqai plus like right you know that you know that like, that acronym is getting out. harder all the time yeah, i know it? i had to really like struggle through that a little bit i'm not gonna lie um but like that's that's so amazing like they have some interesting speakers here they yeah. have bloody uh green dumpling hold on i don't know how to say the whole whole name whole name it's just green dumpling i lied uh um, misha crossing and nicotine uh uh, Shamanam. 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 I don't, uh, I, I mean, these are some, the cool thing about this too is like some of these names, obviously I, I've never come across, but I'm more willing to now because like I'm interested in this. Well, and it's opening up that kind of, that whole narrative for people. I, one of the things I like about the description too is advice on how to be a better chat ally. This isn't just for yeah. people in the LGBTQ community. If it's something that's important to you, this is a panel that you can attend right. and learn, you know, and learn things and stick up. Cause I mean, it's a chat ally. Like to me, that sounds like they want you to stick up for people, like to not handle that kind of those slurs that you, you mentioned before. Right. Like, and that is kind of the thing that we all have to, to work on. Right. Is, right. is this idea that, uh, Our biases, I, I mean, I don't want to say if you see something, say something. Cause I think that's the anti-terror, uh, <laughs> slogan. So I don't think I can just say that, well, but like, that's kind of the idea. If you see your foot down. something messed up being said in chat, say something. Yeah, call it out. Don't, don't just like don't normalize it. Don't just let it go. Right. Yeah. Because I mean, the, the problem that comes with being behind a computer and not having your face, because a lot of these the the chats that people use might not even be their their typical Twitch stream or right. whatever. That might just be their their watched ch uh, Twitch channel. You know. Right. Um. So they're more willing to say stuff because they don't have anything connected to it. But um, like. But that, that, that goes both ways. Like, you should be able to feel free to say the same things. I mean, the streamer most likely is going to say something or, or like, or will try or should, I think, uh, right. should say something. But the chat needs to know also that you can't let that happen to somebody. Well, it's about the, the community that you're trying to foster, right? right. It, it, what The streamer, of course, is kind of the harbinger of it. Yeah. You know, the, the chat, personality. The chat is frequently going to mimic the personality of of the streamer it's like you know like a sports team takes on the personality of the coach it's kind of the same right. idea but yes you in the chat it is on you when something's messed up call it out yeah i and i'm 100 percent for this and i just love the fact that, that they're calling it the gayest panel at uh, twitchcon but, I, I i like the uh just the, the bluntness of it we right. were actually trying to figure out what we wanted to call this segment and i'm like i i think I like the idea of what's gay in gaming. What's gay in gaming? I mean, I, like, I, I, I would tune in to watch that. I, I'm tuning in to watch it right now as we speak. <laughs> as we record as it. We it's record incredible. It. Uh, so, I mean, a couple other things going on. Obviously, uh, Twitch Pride, uh, a, a makeup and cosplay contest, uh, you know, uh, self stop yeah. gamers and horror games. Like, there's a lot going on here. Yeah, I mean, like, I, I put Twitch Pride as like an idea of like what I think Twitch is doing, not necessarily what they're doing, but like, right. it's just something. I personally think that Twitch is trying to create this kind of pride atmosphere 
uh, you know, for their for everybody because they're really heavily uh, dedicated to like makeup and cosplayers. They are and just the gaming community. Because right. like, if you actually another panel going on is uh, drag on Twitch, meet the stream queens. And I mean, I mean, drag is such an interesting thing because like, like I mean, obviously we're still in the LGBTQ community, but like. It's not the same thing as cross dressing. It's not no. the same thing as being trans. It's well, very different. It's 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 a it's a persona. It it's is a character. Right. It's it's an it's I, I don't want to say it's an theater act because well, it's theater it's in many yeah. ways. But but it is someone you you live and breathe. You know right. what I mean? It's still part of you. Right. But it's like an extension of you. That's a good way of putting it. I mean, it. I, I'm not. I have. I'm. I'm not a drag queen, obviously. But like, I know plenty, and it's just such an interesting transformation from seeing them be um out of drag and in drag from it's working like, the day job to right yeah going to a drag show or something like it's that like right. sometimes they're the same person right. but sometimes they're completely different people and it's kind of fun to think that that's also going on twitch because if you think about it that really re uh, relates to streamers mm -hmm. you know i know so many streamers who i've met in person who are like really low-key just right. chill but like on stream they're like Ah, you well, know, how often, streaming. how often do you meet a streamer and the person that they are on stream, you know, it is a character that they yeah. play or it's an extension, a, a exaggerated version of, of themselves. themselves. It's, yeah. it's maybe who they would love to be in the real world, but you can't be that person in the real world. That's not how the real world works. So you do it as your character on Twitch. Right. That's amazing. Like the fact that they're, they have a tag to on Twitch, the LGBTQIA plus tag, like they're, they're dedicated. It's not just the LGBT tag, too, yes. which I, I'm, I'm impressed with. Cause like they had the forethought to be like, I, everyone's included. Right. Exactly. Everyone's included here. Well, I mean, think about for how long you had to, uh, uh, there was like the pushback to even adding the T onto, yeah. onto, you know, things like that, uh, that we're kind of getting past that. And it's just, it has opened up and accepted, you know, earlier I, I joked that acronym is getting longer all the time. That's not a criticism. No. That's a great thing. Yeah. I, I mean, if that acronym was eventually 26 letter, you know, letters long and we got people trying to like rattle it off like digits of pi or something like right. that, I think that'd be great. Cause that's very inclusive, but. And it'd be a fun game to play. Can you name the whole it, LGBT? The, 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 whole the whole library, thing, the yeah, whole the whole thing. lexicon. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I think uh, we're seeing more and more, uh, especially Twitch is kind of embracing this idea of openness. And it's not, it isn't perfect no. by any stretch of the imagination. No. Like we need to make that clear. Like we've seen the issues with people getting banned for certain cosplays right. and stuff like that. It, that I mean, it is not perfect, yeah, but there is something to be said for making the attempt. Right. Like in, in Twitch... Uh, you know, and we hear every day of like different things and like, you know, cancel culture out there basically mm -hmm. being like, oh, they did this. So like, let's get rid of them. Like, let's give them a chance. I'm just going to say that. Let's give them a chance to like see what they're doing. I mean, there's there probably is a reason. I don't know what their reason is. And right. I don't agree with that. For reason, sure. But I also don't believe in discrediting something like, as big as Twitch. Well, like, I just don't know that anyone's going to get it right on the first pass. No, I mean this is an. Uh, needless to say, the uh, issues of sexuality and gender in in the modern era are incredibly complex. Yeah, are uh, uh, there's a lot to it, and a lot to deal with. And I feel like for any for any single person to get it right on the first pass, much less a complex organization with thousands of people at it. You're never going to get it right on the first pass. It's going to be a work in progress. And everything, and, and the, say like the difference between YouTube and Twitch. I mean, not to say that YouTube doesn't have live streaming, but it's not like known as the live stream. Right. No, Twitch you think is. live streaming, you think Twitch. But like you think about this uh, this way, like Twitch has to be a little bit more on guard about that stuff because they are live. You That's know? true. You don't know what's going to happen. So anything that happens is kind of like it's isn't isn't on them like they really right. have to make those those tough choices on like obviously how many thousands of or not millions of channels right obviously it's on the person who is doing the streaming but as the arbiters of the platform if something really messed up happens they are also going to take some flack for it exactly yeah so it's, it's something that they're gonna have to deal with uh, uh what else do we got on here that we need to to hit on uh oh uh, youtube ahead. And yeah. the whole restricted content thing. Well, I mean, I, I don't know if this is still a thing. I just remember where, like, that, like, there was, I don't know if it was, like, a rumor or much. I just remember hearing about mm. it where, like, if you had the restrictive mode on, 
anything that was like, you know, had like gay in the title or gay uh, anything was kind of like censored. Mm. And so like, that's the thing well, that I, you know, I kind of respect more about this is like the, the tags yeah. are more like, oh, here they are. Here's well, what you go, you want. This is your community. These are your people. Yeah. I mean, doesn't it also feel like, uh, especially over the last two years, I want to say, uh, there was a long period of time where the using the word gay had almost become a slur. Oh, yeah. And, I mean, still kind of is. And it can be still. But, I mean, much like the word queer, the LGBTQ plus community has really kind of reclaimed that word. Right. And, it, like, now you refer to things as gay, and it's, like, a lot of the insult that was prevalent in, say, the 90s of it has been stripped right out of that. And I know we have some younger listeners like, wait, there was a time when that was really used as, like, Oh, an insult? I'm like, oh yeah. Oh yeah. In the, in the '90s, for sure. And it I was. mean, I'm sure even the people, like any LGBT person, probably was even using it. Oh yeah. I oh mean, yeah. It was just something you said. It wasn't even like you didn't even think of the meaning behind it. It was just like it was just that's what you just said to right. certain things that and, you didn't like. That one feels to me very much like in the last couple of years, it has been one of the words that has kind of been reclaimed, uh, which is good because yeah, I mean. It's real hard to express what's going on when you can't use that word. <laughs> right. Right. Like, yeah. So anyway, guys, uh, we just wanted to talk about some of the uh, the issues uh, in uh, LGBTQ plus culture, uh, especially with TwitchCon uh, right around the corner here uh, going on this weekend, actually. So we wanted to talk a little bit about that and uh, give you guys some of our thoughts as the LGBTQ plus members uh, of the cast. We thought we'd uh, get on that. And, you know, let us know if you'd like more segments like this. Yeah. I mean, we don't want it to ever be real long or anything like that, but you know, uh, something we could sit down and maybe once a month sit down and hit some of the important topics in the LGBTQ plus maybe community. Maybe get some guests on here. Yeah, I think that'd be really cool. I think it would be fun. What's gay in gaming? Could what? come to you, like, I don't know, semi-monthly, yeah. every month? So I don't know. Let us know if that's something you'd be interested in and what topics you'd like us to talk about if we if we did it. What would you like to hear some opinions on? Right. So, and what are your thoughts on the in TwitchCon? Yeah. And the LGBT, or Twitch in general, and the LGBTQIA plus uh, community. Let us know how you feel about it and whether it is going in the right direction or not. Make sure you reach out on social media. That's Checkpoint XP on Facebook and Twitter and Checkpoint underscore XP on Instagram. And of course, make sure you head on over to our Twitch channel. That's twitch.tv slash Checkpoint XP. Thanks, guys.